Oh! My ears hurt now from that yell. Thank oh. you for that. Oh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, well, well, it's been a while since I actually was, it's been in a part of this, so... Yeah. Yeah, that was, that's what happens when you're gone for a long time. You, you need... guys had that freaking... Um, I saw that <laughs> video actually just recently. Like, God, I wanted to be a part of that voice acting extravaganza. That, that sounded fun. Yeah, I wanted to be the Scottish brawler. Whatever that is. <laughs> Time to kick some ass! Yeah, or something like that. I wait, don't so, have... wait, 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 wait. I, I, you have to elaborate. I've never seen this. Huh? You have to elaborate what the Scottish brawler is. I've never seen this. Well, the 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 Sea Spring commentaries after midnight like has two characters like Shadow the Aussie battler and <laughs> Big the British fighter, <laughs> and then it'd be something like um, let's say Silver the Scottish brawler. The psycho, the, the psychopathic psycho from the future. Yeah, like it. Think of Silver with a Scottish accent. It's uh, a or something like that. Like it's no use. Give up or like something <laughs> like that, maybe or like. Yeah, that that's better. Oh God, <laughs> it sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 what what happened? Like Silver was acting in 06 and he actually sounded like that. Sonic would just really been like, "Wait, what? Who are you?" And he would be like, "My name is Silver. For the sake of for the future of the world, I will destroy you or something like that." It'd be like I've. You know, if I were playing the game, I'd be like, what? Like, what What the hell, Sega, what the hell were you thinking? I threw my sword, and <laughs> I'm a Scottish brawler. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Silver had a sword in Black Knight, but you never see it. You only see it in multiplayer mode, but hey, uh, it, hey it happened. Like Why can't Silver play a yeah. bigger role in the story? Uh, like, they excluded him from any story after Sonic 06, which is kind of sad. I, I mean, I, but besides Sonic Rivals, of course. But in Rivals, he's just he's just kind of like... But, well, I guess we can kind of also say that in Rivals, it's canon that Sonic and Silver also know each other, too. Cause like, yeah, yeah well, is it like... If, if, have you played the game? Yeah, I actually have it. I actually have both 1 and 2. Okay, so is it like Sonic and Silver meet and Sonic doesn't know Silver, but... Yeah, yeah, but like, I think... I I can't remember because I haven't played the game in a while. I think Silver kind of knows him. I, I don't remember, though. I haven't played the game in forever. Oh, ah, well... But like, yeah, it's, I, I think it's still pretty stupid. They just fight each other. Oh, well, they, in that game, it actually makes sense because they don't know each other. They actually... They, they kind of think they're enemies. But then, if you go to like something like Generations, this happens after the Rivals games, I'm assuming... And then Silver kind of and Sonic should know each other, but Silver's all like, "Are, are you just some fake to get the Chaos Emeralds? I'm gonna kick your ass right now!" And <laughs> I, it just it, it pisses me off actually in that game. Pisses so, me with Shadow, dude, because like Shadow's like, you know, Sh Sonic, I, I I don't know why we're here, but this is where I kick your ass. But it's just <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Like, Shadow, bro, we're 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 friends. I thought, but then she's like, "No, I'm gonna kill you and prove that I'm the real hedgehog or something like that." I, it just I was actually hoping that the story would make it like Shadow is the Shadow from SA2 at the point where they're, they're yeah, fighting. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, that would make more sense actually. Like if and, if Shadow still, from yeah, um, still, and, okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> and Silver being the one in Crisis City at the start of Sonic 06, even though it still doesn't make sense because it's in an alternate timeline. But yeah, you finish your sentence. But then, uh, you're then like, oh wait, I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, oh, I thought it would have been funny if just like, you know, if it, uh, if we're saying like Silver in Crisis City before he meets Methylus, that'd be kind of awkward. <laughs> oh, I It'd be like Sonic's like, hey, look, there's a hedgehog that looks like me. But why does why is he white and his hair, hair looks like marijuana leaf? That probably <laughs> that's probably what it would, I would think it sound like. I'd smoke that hedgehog. <laughs> it's pretty smoking hot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, he's pretty high up in the air. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> it hurts sometimes, it really does. But like, um, um, yeah, I think that would have been a better idea because it would it would make more sense in terms with the story. But at the same time, it'd be like, how does? But then, where does where's real life Shadow and real life Silver at? 
Because, like, it, and, you know, like, and they also say that in that game, too, that, like, Blaze is in there, too. But she's supposed to be from a different dimension. How the hell is she there? I don't know. Because, like, like, Sega really, really doesn't give a shit about Blaze's backstory, I, I seem to notice, actually. But that was all. That would also mean that the Sonic Rush games aren't canon because uh, uh, Silver. No, I mean Sonic doesn't seem to know Blaze in the game. Even though Blaze kind of briefly mentions that she has some history with Sonic, like Blue Hedgehog. But again, how does he? And I mean, how does she uh, come from the uh, uh, like distant future if she came from an alternate dimension in Sonic Rush? I don't know. Is that alternate dimension the corrupted future? Maybe. Cause that's what I think I said that in the video once, like in one of my 06 playthroughs. I was just like, you know, that, you know, like, you know, if, if they really like exaggerate, like Blades is like where Blades is from. So is she like from a different dimension where Eggman Nigga exists, or is she from the future? It, just, it, it makes no sense. Yeah, well, she's uh, Crisis City is in Mobius or whatever the hell. It's Station it's Square in the future. No, it's, it's it's the opposite of what happened in SA One. You know, it's it's corrupted with water. It's now corrupted with fire and lava, and everything burns. Yeah, I think I think actually I th I actually think Iblis is kind of like you know the the uh, uh, what's it called again the fire version of Perfect Chaos. But you know they should have pointed that out in the game, kind of. Like made that made made that more obvious. Like maybe maybe have a remixed version of "Open Your Heart" in the boss battle or something. I I think that would have been really cool, but you know, let's be totally fair. Iblis is just super super bland, and at least Chaos actually had some sort of backstory and like some sort of actual redeeming qualities. Let's be yeah, totally fair with that. But Iblis just wants to kill people. Yeah, and it was just a flames of disaster, and he's we just a never... flames of disaster, and he looks he's really just a... derpy. He's just like, <laughs> he's I, just I, a... I literally every time I see his face, I just go like, Duh! it just it looks really stupid. God, I, I I just never got the whole flames of disaster thing. I don't know, is that his <laughs> nickname or something, or like, like well, oh, the flames of disaster. Oh, how ambiguous and super philosophical and everything. It's just no, dude. He's just a flaming derp monster. And I think they they came up with Solaris at the end of the development. While they I were feel that way too, because it makes no sense that they, they rarely mention him, and then he's just a generic monster at the end of the game. He's like, oh, they, you know, with the power <laughs> of the seven chaos emerald, then... He's just a symbol. He just like some, looks like a vulture rock, and then he turns into the Zelda logo. <laughs> and then he just <laughs> briefly mentions... He just appears suddenly at the end of the game. He's like, hey guys, am I late to the party? I heard you like disaster. But then yeah, he just and, creates disaster. Just, yeah, and they don't reference him enough in the uh, during the story. They kind of like do two, one or two times, and that was pretty much just put in the script while the game was made, just because they wanted a final boss and they couldn't find a place to um, <laughs> put him in because Iblis was killed at the end of Silver's story. What? Well, yeah, um, well, I don't really know, honestly. No, no, he gets sealed in Blaze, and they go into the alternate dimension. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I I only cried because I lost Blaze forever, not for Silver. I didn't really care about Silver, I'm sorry. <laughs> just like, well, I'm just like, well, Silver, I guess you'll be forever alone in the future. Sucks to be you. Yeah, well, he kind of... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't... Ugh. What, ha what happens to me? I mean, he goes back to the past into an alternate, I don't know. <laughs> just, it just, time just gets completely fucked up. There you go. It's, it's like Sonic uh, Sonic meets The Matrix six, uh, The Matrix 2 and 3. Oh shit, like, yeah, totally. <laughs> it is, actually. Yeah, it's just like, The Matrix makes sense, and then The Ma Matrix 2 just it fucks it all up with like all this alternate and the the world between The Matrix and what The Real and What is not? <laughs> oh god! This, oh oh my god! Yeah, it really does. I mean, it's oh, it's so many things wrong with that game. I, I swear, dude. Yeah, but I, I I enjoy it because it's it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I guess I, I think I do too. I think I enjoy it just because of the fact that it's a super bad game, and it's just that like I'm just like wow, this game is so bad, but it's kind of fun. It's yeah, but I, I think it's kind of fan gasping at times. Uh, Oh, sorry for that word. Um, with the, I like the transformation sequence yeah, when he. Yeah, I, I do too. And the the fun, the, the first phase final boss music is not that great, but the second one is amazing. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, that it's a bit too short and it loops too much. Oh yeah, well, mm, 
Well, let's be fair. The boss doesn't really take that long, I guess. Well, yeah, but when you're listening to the actual song, which you probably do a couple times after you've heard it in the final boss, you know, it gets kind of annoying. Well, yeah, because it's just like, uh, it's it's his world. I mean, Jesus Christ game. How many times have you remixed that song? Even though it's one of my favorite Sonic songs, yeah, they they, uh, could have made, yeah, I get I I agree. Like, they could have made, like, I mean, I'm totally okay with the theme, because it's really good, and, like, it's all, but I'm just like, really? Another His World remix? Jesus, Sega, are you getting really that uncreative now with music? Yeah. Blah. But, you know, you, you, you know how Ninja Gaiden 3 was like, everyone hated it, and then it got remade? They should have done that with Sonic 06. Like, fix all the bugs and release it on Wii U. That would be cool, but I don't know. I wonder if Sega actually... Actually, actually Sega probably does acknowledge the game, even though how bad it is. Because, like, they well, used it in Generations, and they actually show footage of it in the credits, but... <laughs> yeah, they show a picture of Mephilus, that, even. Oh, they do, actually? I yeah, in the credits. I don't remember that. Well, not the Mephilus that's kind of like, like all crystal and stuff, but the Shadow Recolor Mephilus. You know, the gray shadow. I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember that, though. I need to actually... It remember. was in the credits when they, like, showed a montage of pictures from each uh, 3D Sonic game from Sonic... Oh, and wait, actually, now I remember. Yeah, I, I, now I remember. So, okay, so, I mean, Sega does acknowledge it, but I wonder if they acknowledge it enough to actually fix all the problems of the game. I, I highly doubt it, but that would be really cool, though. I mean... Yeah. They they probably they probably wouldn't re-release it because it wouldn't sell one it wouldn't sell sell shit. And, <laughs> but, but they could release a patch. But at this point, when we're almost at the end of the life cycle of both the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, I don't think that's what, I don't think that will happen. And it'll people, be it, no, it will be like the final release before like the Xbox 360 to like end. Oh, it'll, that'll, that'll totally happen, dude. It's like just before 720 comes out or something, or when the next one comes out. Hey guys, we're releasing this new patch for Sonic 06. Yeah! Yeah! But everyone's completed the game now, and you can't start a new game without ha- using another, like, um, save, uh, save, uh, save, um, save, uh, save, uh, file. Save file, yeah. But there aren't, uh, there aren't in game save files. They have to choose another memory source or whatever oh, it's God, called. Yeah, it's something like that. But, like, damn, that would. I'm, I would laugh at the same time, but get, I get so pissed. Yeah, it's kind of that late. I mean, Ninja Gaiden 3 came out uh, last year, or, or, or I guess uh, two years ago now. But, uh, uh, and, but, but you know, uh, th- that, that makes sense, because, you know, it, it's not that long, but it's been, how many years, it's been uh, six years since uh, Sonic 06 came out, and <laughs> they now... Yeah, sure. and it's like Sega. Did you finally have nothing better to do with the franchise that you decided to make like an old game better? That that's kind of why didn't you guys do this a year after it released? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, Tails, Amy, Rouge, all those characters were supposed to have their own stories. Wait, what? Yeah, I read that in uh, on the Sonic. What's the Sonic News Network? It's the Sonic Wiki. I used to follow that a lot when I when when Sonic Generations hype was going on. Mm-hmm. But they had a lot of rumors in their trivia uh, stuff. It, it it was fun to li- it was fun to read, but you know <laughs> I couldn't really trust it. Well, well, hey, I mean, like, uh, actually, that would have been kind of cool. I mean, it, it would be like SA one, except, hmm. I mean, yeah. I, 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 but then again, the whole game is kind of kind of SA1-ish. If you, if you yeah, that, that's, what I, that's what I like about it, because Sonic SA1 is my favorite Sonic game, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, I like that element, and that's probably why I enjoy the game, at least, when, no, aside from all the <laughs> flaws the game has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can, you can really tell. I mean, I'm sorry, Wave Ocean just looks like Emerald Coast. I'm just like, wait. I feel like I've been to this stage before. Oh, wait. It's, it's, it's in SA1. No wonder. And the whale chase and everything. Man, this game is just loves ripping things off. Well, yeah. I, I, I love that part because I think it was a fun, you know... Um, yeah, it, it's still a fun stage. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's still a fun stage, though. But, like, oh, just when you get to the speed section, I kind of... I replayed that actually recently because I was just so bored. I was just like, you know... You know, the speed sections were kind of not that bad in 06. I'm going to try it again, and then uh, just like, oh, wow. I just, this, 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 this control so bad. 
<laughs> well, I I actually like the mob speed sections just because I you know I thought they was were tr thrilling and challenging a little cheap especially when you get into that loop in the first one. <laughs> oh oh yeah, you just completely <laughs> missed like the speed uh, boost. Well, it's not even your fault when you do it. Well, I mean like I, I think this happened one time. I think I held up on the control stick actually when I was doing that loop and I completely botched the speed boost and I died into the pillar. It was kind of flaming. That that shouldn't happen because, it, you know, it's natural to hold forward when you're playing the mock speed sections, even though it won't do anything. That's like a human instinct. That's like something to, it's like, uh, it makes it easier to get used to the controls, which are already pretty bad. I, I, I just want to go back. This is, I was just like, you know what, F this game. I'm just going to go back to Generations. I'm still bad at the game now, so I'm just going to go back to that game and hold X and I can actually boost whenever I want. Yeah. 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 So we really talked in seven minutes before we started recording? I don't know. I just... No, no we talked for like... Okay, now we've talked on for 16 minutes. Okay. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter. Now it happened. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you always do that when you're a Sonic fan. You know you're a Sonic fan when you start singing a song every time it's kind of like uh, unintentionally quoted in a sentence. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's just like, um, hang on, it's like someone says like, oh god, if someone says like, the sun is shining or something, I'll just be like, you know, it's, you know, can you feel the sunshine, can they brighten <laughs> up your day, and you know, no one likes Sonic art, but I like it because of the music. I, I, I love it too, because, but I love it because of the characters, and I, I actually like a couple of the songs, which everyone thinks are horrible. I like Super Sonic Racing. Probably oh yeah, I love that song too. I like the remake more, of course, but um, I like I like the original too. But I also like living living in the city and that one theme in the desert or Egypt type thing. You know the Regal the Ruins. Part. It's um, wait, is it like? I can't remember if it Diamond in the Sky or is it Work It Out? I can't remember. Um, definitely not Work It Out because that was horrible. Um, <laughs> Don, I think Diamonds in the Sky. Like yeah, you like it's I I was just like. He's like, you're the only one who... It's like, make me fly or something like that. Because you're my diamond in the sky. And it's just... It's, oh, God. I, I feel like T.J. Davis was high when she made that song. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah. when they say, like, diamond in the sky, or, like, you're the only one who makes me feel so high, I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> well, like, when you really look at it, I'm sure she was probably, like, smoking some something really, really trippy to make the lyrics to that song. Yeah, you remember those knuckles wraps in SA2? Yeah. <laughs> gonna... hate... dude, dude, those wraps are hilariously bad, dude. I, I still listen to them because they're just so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna... Look, look, uh, look, look, I found a YouTube video. Knuckles wrap lyrics warning. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, it warns you that the lyrics are present, so... You know. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, here, uh, I'll look up some of the luck, uh, lyrics here. Um... Sub little, sup little bitches, yo, my name is Knuckles, and <laughs> Knuckles, I am coming to this place for shits and <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> so take a step back, unless you want to get locked, because I'm a bad motherfucker with some wicked dreadlocks. What? <laughs> so I'm looking at Sonic, because you think that you're fast. But if you, if you don't rough around, then you're never going to last. Your eyes are old, bro. You think you're going to got... This is like our epic rap battles of history reject or something. <laughs> you sound kind of like shit, kind of shitty like Dwayne and Rando. So that's how it goes. Dude. Don't get me pissed. I've got some big ass hands with some spikes on my fist. And I fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Get a call up, busting, busting up TVs, hello or something. Oh, what? Bitch, <laughs> please put your ass on disabilities, and those pins make you ask, taking away <laughs> your credibility. Wait, I gotta turn it around. We gotta find Robotnik and pound his ass to the <laughs> ground. Now, <laughs> now I'm for you, going straight through your uh, right, your HQ with the man in blue, and he's fast too. Yes, too, and I told you. Get drunk with. <laughs> yeah. Get, thr get drunk with Sonic and fuck up Robotnik. What? Can't imagine this is being from Sasai too. I think. I, th I think this. I would is think Knuckles gone inappropriately wrong. That's what I would think if I hear that.
That last <laughs> is so awesome. Get drunk with Sonic and fuck up Robotnik. Yeah, dude. I, want, I, I actually want to see that now. Uh, I'll send you the link. Okay, I'll, I'll watch this later. Cause that sounds hilariously bad. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get drunk at Sonic. I'm gonna fuck up Robotnik. <laughs> that sounds like, like what? Oh, it is from the game. Wait, what? It is from the game. I looked. I I looked at the video now. It sounds just like one of the stage mu. It's on Knuckles stage music in in Sonic. Um, what's it called? Sonic Adventure Two. Well, that would make more sense then. Like it, yeah, that would make sense. They'd be like, it, unless it's because it, it sounds like Wild Canyon, except inappropriate. Let, let's just listen to this. Um, I, I've, 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 um, I've uh, gone to the last line. You know, get drunk with Sonic and fuck up Robotnik. Let's see how that. Oh shoot! Hang on. Whoa. Oh okay. I'm not sure if that's fan made or from the game. Or and no, it's it can't be from SA2. I think it's I just I think it's fan made. That was a disappointment. Let's look, let's let's look up something real. Get get drunk with Sonic. What? Fuck up, Robotnik. That sounds amazing. <laughs> mm. uh, you know I like one rap uh, in. Um, uh, by Knuckles, you know the first the first version of Unknown from M E. Yes, that, that that's awesome. I I love that song. You know, especially the singing. It's it's pre it's pretty nice actually. Yeah, I agree. And like um, yeah, I'm like it's like wait, hang on. Yeah, don't call me Knuck. Yeah, wait, no, 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 don't call me Knuckles. That's from Aquatic Mind. Oh my God, no, please no. <clears throat> My pumpkin mountain knuckles lyrics. I'll face. I'll see if I can find a ghost pumpkin soup. Okay, is that? Oh, what ghost pumpkin soup. That's pumpkin hill. Yeah, I know. Doom, you doom, know me. Doom, 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 uh, I ain't gonna let it go to me. I'm just gonna creep down in pumpkin hill. I got to find my lost piece. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around here somewhere. I'm gonna hold my head because I have no fear. This probably seems lazy. Well, I mean, this probably seems yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy. A graveyard theory. Theory. A ghost tried to approach me, and I got a and I got leery or something. <clears throat> Ask him a question, and he vanish vanishes in a second. Ask him a question. <clears throat> I'm in valley's crying pumpkin in the alley. Don't, didn't seem happy, but they sure tried to get me. Had to back him up with the fist. Metal crack him. Okay. Wait, uh, isn't it like fist metal crackle or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it said fist metal crackle, yes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because it's Knuckles. I haven't heard the song in a while, so I'm, I'm just making up my own, uh, like, beat <laughs> in my head. I just don't want to... Uh, yeah, because, like, there's, there's that one... I think in Aquatic Mind, when you do the story mode, he's like, he's like, this is going to be... Wait, this is going to be tougher than I thought. I'm just like... <laughs> oh my god, F you Knuckles. I remember I used to say, I, I think I, I remember I said that in SA2, the SA2 plays, I'm just like, God, F these stupid levels, I hate Knuckles' story. <laughs> well, and then I get an A, and I'm just like, wow, really? <laughs> um, you, you know the first song in Sonic Adventure 2 with Knuckles? It well, wasn't Canyon? a um, Rouge is really sexy, and she's after my jewels. Wait, she's really sexy? Wait, hang on, like, all right. Oh, I thought she, they said something like, he's like, oh, yeah, Rouge, she's sexy as a boot, or something like that. And he Andy, Andy said, and she's after my jewels. I remember that. And I was just, is that a metaphor? <laughs> 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 Ooh, what kind of jewels are we talking about here? <laughs> oh. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, ho. They're so shiny. Can I touch them? <laughs> no. I'll polish your jewels if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Knuckles' is jewels. Well, he's naked, but so we can't see him. Uh, he's probably just um, trying to. They're make non existent. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> we did it at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. Now this is turning into the episode one.